this is a creepy way to lose weight. By sucking the fat out of your body. It can make you lose 10 pounds in a matter of minutes. This man has just won the hot dog eating contest and just as he gets into his car, a mysterious monster appears behind him. Then the man's body starts to convulse and the car shakes with it. His body quickly shrinks and becomes like a deflated basketball. Dean and Sam begin their investigation. When they hear about the case, they notice that the victim's weight has dropped from 400 pounds to 90 pounds and his internal organs have been damaged. The next day, a similar case happens. This woman is knocked out from behind while exercising. Then her weight starts to drop rapidly. Her body fat is sucked out quickly and then she dies. The two brothers arrive at the scene and after some examination they find a suction mark on the victim. They talk to the victim's personal trainer but accidentally find the same section mark on her. But the strange thing is why is the trainer still alive? The trainer says she recently has been to a mysterious spa which claims to help clients lose weight easily with no dieting. Following the clues provided by the trainer, the two brothers immediately go to the spa. They believe that the spa must have something to do with the two murders. To find out the secrets of this place. They pose as personal trainers who are looking for jobs. They are interviewed by a couple, Larry and Maritza, who are the owners of the spa. But they only have one trainer position available at the moment. As a result, Sam is successfully hired as a trainer and Dean is hired as a lunch guy. In the kitchen. Dean is starving so he tries to putting in front of him and it tastes delicious, so he steals a box. He didn't expect to get dizzy after eating the pudding and just before he passes out, he tries to call Sam for help. Sam notices something is wrong. While teaching yoga, every client has a suction mark on their body just as they thought. At the same time, Maritza is doing a cupping therapy for a client. She tells the client that it is a traditional technique from China that not only eliminates toxins from the body, but also helps to lose weight. The disadvantage is that it will leave a red suction mark on the back. In fact, the whole cupping therapy is just a cover. The suction mark is actually caused by her sucking. After the yoga class, Sam happens to bump into Mary, the local sheriff, who has just finished her cupping therapy. Through their conversation, Larry begins to suspect Sam's true identity. Later, Sam goes to the kitchen and finds Dean unconscious next to a pile of potatoes. Apparently, the pudding has been drugged. Sam finds the chef who made the pudding and interrogates him, asking him why he did that. But the chef doesn't seem to know anything. It turns out that every client will be offered pudding before their cupping therapy, and the chef simply adds the specified supplements to the pudding, as requested by Maritza and Larry. According to the current situation, the brothers are certain that the couple is related to the previous two murders. Meanwhile, the couple has figured out the true identity of the two brothers. They're hunters. Why are hunters here? At this point, they know very well that it is almost impossible for them to escape, and the more reasonable approach is to destroy the evidence. Maritza rushes to take the fat out of the fridge and dump it, but she feels it's such a waste, so she might as well eat it. Just as she is about to enjoy the fat, Dean appears behind her. He sees everything and then ties her to the chair. Maritza denies that she is a killer, saying she is just a pistachio. A pistachio? A pistachio, aka a Peruvian fat sucker. By sucking fat, she can help people lose weight and feed herself at the same time, which is a win-win situation. She claims she hasn't hurt anyone. Then who is responsible for the two murders? It turns out to be her brother Alonso, who often can't control his appetite. The couple has been working for years to build the spa, and they don't want it to be ruined because of Alonso. So Larry decides to fire Alonso and he tells Alonso to pack up and leave immediately. At the moment Sam happens to pass by, he hears screams from the kitchen. He goes in and finds that Larry has been killed by Alonso. When Maritza learns that her husband was killed by her brother, she breaks down in tears. Over the years, the couple has been able to coexist harmoniously with humans because they have always adhered to one principle, and that is eating enough to get by. In contrast, her brother Alonso is a reckless man who once almost killed a client during a therapy session because he sucked too much fat. Maritza had to put him to work in the kitchen and only let him eat the fat from the jars. But Alonso simply can't control his desire for fat, 
which is why there were two previous murders to stop Alonso from killing more innocent people. She tells the two brothers where Alonso might be hiding now. The brothers take their knives and flashlights to the basement, and they decide to split up to search. Unfamiliar with the environment, Sam is attacked from behind. Alonso uses the closet to pin Sam to the ground, and Sam struggles to push the closet away. Sam rushes to pick up the knife, but he is still no match for Alonso and is knocked to the ground again. Alonso tries to deliver a fatal blow to Sam with his proboscis, but fortunately, Dean arrives just in time and slashes off his proboscis. For 53 Sam is saved while Alonso dies instantly because he loses his proboscis. Although Maritza is also a monster, because she has never harmed any human and has helped the boys solve the case, the boys decide to let her go.